Hello guys, today I'm going to take apart this air compressor switch from a Campbell Hossfield model number HL551600. I went ahead and replaced mine because, because the price of this unloader valve was pretty much just bought by a whole new thing, man. And things are pretty high dollar, especially that 90 degree right there. But... I just got done putting a, a, a compression switch on mine. I went ahead and got one of them. Not the 90, but the one that comes out from here because my unloader valve was messing up. And the purpose of this thing is to, um, once the tank reaches its limit, this compressor switch here will, will shut it off and then it'll vent to this uh, unloader valve here. That way, when it does start up again, it'll be easier to start. That's the whole purpose of this unloader valve. It's got like a little pin that goes in there. It goes up and down, which mine messed up. But anyways, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take it apart real quick. All right, I got them four T... Shit, I forgot what size it was. But see them four screws right there? It's for one, two, three, and four. I got my thumb on it because you got to keep pressure on it. Just unscrew it until you think they're off. And then slowly release it. And it should pop off. See if I can do it like that. Trying to get it where y'all can see. I need one of them stands. I need a camera holder. <laughs> All right. Oh, let me put the phone down for a second. All right, here we go. Anyways, I just I got them four screws out. Now I'm going to try to take it apart. This is the bottom part is the port. There's a rubber. There's a rubber. Uh, diaphragm that this could be if you hear a leak underneath the, the switch it could be this rubber piece right here that's all it is a little piece of rubber all right let me see this pressure switch let's take it apart you see there's a little piece that goes underneath that where that load Right here, right underneath the unloader valve. That's what you gotta wiggle out. Whenever you put it back in, you have to stab that part first and then set it down in there. All right, let me take it apart. It looks confusing. This little lever, it got it goes right there on this part, the bottom part of that control switch. See, because whenever you engage it, when you turn it off, it picks up on this thing here, and it picks up right here where this loader valve is, and it pushes up that pin right there. Pushes up that pin and that loader valve, and, it, and that's what kills you. Well, kills the power and everything, and it pushes that up so it won't, so it won't bleed all the air out and stuff. But uh, here, let me take it all apart, and then, and then I'll get back to you. See, I just took it out. This was sitting at the bottom of the switch. Just take it out like that, and then put it together under here. All right, let me show you the bottom part of this. This, this underneath this electrical part of the compressor switch. I'm sorry about my son, guys. Hope y'all can hear me over him. <laughs> but anyways, it's got this piece here. See, mine broke off. Let me put this down. I had a piece that broke off right here. And it was just, it was a little piece. It was supposed to be about as long as this in here on this side. But it was just a little piece of what I did. I grabbed one of them uh, 
I think that's a Capri Sun straw. Slid it over and just cut it to about about the same size as this side over here. And then uh, it's been working ever since. But well, before I, before the unloader valve went out. But anyways, all you do is drop this in here. It only goes one way because uh, this reset button. This is actually this part here. That's actually the reset button. Here, let me show you. You slide that in there. See that? That's the that's the. the I guess it's the reset button here. I don't know. I'm not an air compressor mechanic. <laughs> but anyways, if you if you try to put it in there the other way, if you try to put it in there the other way, it don't line up up here. But uh, hey James, I'm on the I'm on the phone, son. Hold on just a second. You want TT? Okay, I think he's good. But anyways. Yeah, it only goes in one way, like so, and that's what that's what uh, pushes these little. Uh, I don't know what you call these things. Uh oh, hold on a second, guys. Let me check this out. All right, I'm back. He was good. He was good. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, these things here they push up against these uh, uh shit, these electrical current things i don't know what you want to call these things but anyways that's what they do but anyways yeah it only goes one way man just like so and then just here this spring goes right here i want to say there's something else underneath the spring and let me see if i can beat, beat it up yeah it's the screw And it's got a washer on on this model here. It's got a washer with the little little ends where it only goes one way inside this hole. See the other side. Yeah, just put it up in there like this. You put your spring like spring right there. Put this thing in there like so, and then this top section's ready. This piece here is ready. Now this piece here, this is how the spring goes. Let's see if I can turn this out. Let's see. It's just like this. Uh -oh. <laughs> you hungry, boy? <laughs> Are you hungry? You want your bottle? Okay, let me get your TT. Hold on, guys. Let me go. Let me get him the bottle real quick. All right, I'm back. He didn't want the bottle. But anyways, this is how this piece goes here. Let me see if I can flip it without messing it up. Oh, yeah, I got a bunch of spider webs and stuff under mine. That's what it looks like right there. It hooks up from the bottom. I don't know if you can see it. See the spring, how the spring hooks up. Fold it down like so. I think this piece goes on top of this little section here. Yeah. So make sure it's on top like that. All right, you see these little, these ears? Quick, James. Look, I'm going to play with that, brother. All right, look. See these ears right here? Uh, oh, hold on just a second. Let me go get this, this boy. All right, guys. I just had this thing come loose from the spring. Alright, let me hook it up real quick. Goes just like this.
just like that. Damn it. All right, that's that piece. Now, this goes, this circle right here is where your spring is gonna go right here on the top part. All right, we're gonna worry, we're gonna worry about this piece later. Now what you wanna do is turn it upside down like this. that spring make sure it don't fall down all right let me, let me see all right this piece here it's on top it's on top of this part for now what is it boy hmm? all right you see these ears you want to make sure Whenever it's all seated down in there, you want to make sure it goes in the ears right there with them on both sides right here where, 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 where it's supposed to latch down in there. Where it's supposed to seat in there properly. All right, here we go. Let's see. All right. So what I'm going to have to do, you see these shoulders right here? I'm gonna have to set them right here, and then I'm gonna have to spring it up, and then push down on the this part. Let me see if I can do this. These things are a pain, man. All right, got that. Put the spring in there. And right now I'm working on. Sorry if the. If it goes off camera, I'm not really looking at the camera, but look. Now I gotta work this part inside them things. And keeping these shoulders behind that where they're supposed to go. Push up. Alright, something. Alright, this is loader valve. See how it's in the bind? Let's see about that. Let's see. So, I'm going to try to get the Damn it, sorry. So I gotta try to push these way down further. It goes way down there. Hold on, just say. Alright, so the best way to do this is to set the bottom part, this part first. Go ahead and seat it properly down underneath it, underneath this shoulder right here. There's a little spot for it down in there. Go ahead and set that in there first. And then, and then move your top piece, which is this piece here, move it up to where the spring goes in that hole right there. Things are kind of a pain in the ass, man. Alright, this is the part where you gotta push up, kind of, you gotta kind of hold a push up with force 
into this bottom section where these ears are, until they go into their seat, to this part right here, to their seat inside the spot. See? Got it. You want to make sure they're seated properly. Everything is good. Everything is good. This is the this was the hardest part, man. It took me forever to figure it out. And then, if you if you're careful enough, I've seen people put vice grips, zip ties, and all kinds of crap. I didn't. I just I can wiggle it in there. Just just be careful. So you can let go of it. But can't can't move it too hard. It'll pop out. All right, I'm going to do it again. Just pop it loose. All right, all right, before I take it back apart, all right, this part here, it goes in on this part of your pressure switch. That's where the little lever goes right there. So whenever you you want to put it through this thing first. Hold on a second. Put it through here first. Like so. See that? Whenever you put it together, you want to make sure that goes in there. You line that up later on. Let me uh let me take this apart again for you guys. Got to unseat it from here. Just pop it up like so. All right, take it apart. All right, everything's still good here. This is what it looks like right here. So when you set it in there, you pretty much, you're springing it. You wanna set this part in there first. All right, guys, I'm back. I almost forgot how this thing went. All right, anyways, that's where the that's where that spring, that's where that screw goes. This one right here. Put that in there. It's your spring. All right, this one. Loader valve to the right side. I'm gonna make sure it seats. I'm gonna make sure it seats right in there on both sides. Springs gonna go right here in this hole. Just hook it. You wanna hook it from the. You wanna curl it like this. Like that. And now you gotta hook the top part. I like I like to put them together. I like to put the spring and stuff together on the on the table and then put it in here. Move this to the side. All right. Oh, this part it just goes around this little lip right here, the other end of that spring. <laughs> You're out of there, boy. All right, let me see. Let me see. What the hell? All right, got it. 
see. There it is. I don't know if you can see it. Spring springs like this. It hooks in there like this. Alright. Alright, now let's put it back in there. Now when you put it back in there, remember, focus on the focus on the bottom part. James. Shh. Right, you want to focus on the bottom part, getting on them lips. And it's them springs. If that spring keeps coming out, just bend bend it more or it won't come out. Alright. See now I got the bottom. I got the bottom piece in its seat. Now I'm gonna slide it up. Just gotta hold that pressure, man. And then just turn it sideways, make sure everything is looking good. Push, push down on the motor valve. Handle thing. Slide it up. What I'm trying to do now is push, put pressure on. I'm holding pressure right here with my pointer on that bottom section. And I'm sliding this part up with my thumbs to try to seat it down. It's, 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 a, it's a pain, man. But you can do it. See, I just did it twice for you. Don't give up, man. See? That's it. Unloaded. Five finger my jiggers. What's up, man? All right. Let's see. Feels like I'm forgetting something. What? Got this piece in there. This piece is gonna go right here. So I'm gonna flip it. I'm gonna, oh, just watch. Just holding a little pressure on it. Take your screws out, be a whole lot better, man. If you can't. Oh, no. Alright. You wanna hold it like this? James! No, I hear you. I hear you. All right. Let me. Uh, hold on. You done? You done talking? <laughs> All right. Anyways, you want to stab this part first, right here underneath the loader valve, unloader valve. I don't know why I keep calling it loader valve, but this is what I mean. It's the unloader valve. This is just the. Where it pushes up and kills it, whatever. You can see, it. You can see, it. You can see it sliding in there. You can slide, slide that part in there first. And switch your finger positions. I'm pinching it. I'm pinching it from these two. James! I'm pinching it from these two fingers. Now I'm going to trade it. I'm going to pinch with these two fingers. Still got this stabbed in there. Everything's looking good. Now here's the part where you gotta be very careful or it's all gonna pop out and you gotta redo it all again. Alright, now this piece come loose, come out. You wanna make sure you put that back in there. Right here. Remember, all this is is just a switch. It picks up on that thing down there.
you want to set it on auto like that because that because when you put it on auto when you put it on auto that piece inside is laying down you can't really see it from right here but it's laying down all right i'm gonna try to all you gotta do now is just drop this piece onto this thing and then line up your hose and then watch That's it, man. That's the part you got to stab first, remember, or it's going to give you hell. And this and this is a little bit more difficult with with the with it still being on the um uh compressor. But I, I've done it. I've, I've done it with the compressor, with, with this being on the compressor too. It's just a little bit more challenging, but it's all the same concept. You, at least you know how, how it all fits in there. But uh, yeah, man, that's it, dude. That's 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 it. And then you just put your put your put your diaphragm right here, the little rubber gasket thing. Make sure there ain't no leaks on it. And uh, put it all back together. James, you want to come help me? Ain't lining up right. Make sure your gasket's in the right spot. And it probably wouldn't hurt to put like a little shit, a little dab of oil to keep that gasket from moving. Something, you know. There he is. She winking now. I'm just getting them, I'm not screwing them tight, tight. I'm just pretty much by hand, tightening them up by hand for right now. When I do tighten them up, I I, cat, I, I crisscross. See this in here, I'm gonna tighten this one up right here. Snug it a little bit. Like so, and then get this one over here. to this one. And this one. Voila, man. And then here, just make sure your switch works. Like I said, all this does is picks up that little thing in there. 